Hey, we talked to you uh, back after the USC game. One of the things that you know stood out that you said was that it didn't feel like the team had a chin. Um, it seems like that has kind of changed in the last couple of weeks, and even today, you guys were able to, to stick around when BYU punched you. Have you noticed a difference in the mentality and the mental toughness of the team? Yeah, I mean, if you remember from that interview, uh, that was kind of popular um, when I was talking about culture. Um, the culture had, was starting to be found, or was being, or the foundation was being laid. And we were taking it up, and uh, we're still taking it up. Yeah, you know, with, it was obviously a, an eventful week for you guys and everything going on. Was it refreshing just to come out and be able to play the game and just, you know, tune out everything else for a little bit? Personally or team-wise? Uh, both. Uh, team-wise, uh, I think it was uh, good to just have everybody together. Um, it certainly helps uh, me personally. Um, you know, I got my own things I deal with and that I'm dealing with currently. Um, so just uh, kind of to be in routine certainly helps ease the pain and the pressure that we all individually feel, um, especially with the events that transpired this week. It seemed that BYU has thrown a lot of different looks at you uh, along their defensive line. They'd have three down linemen, and then they'd kind of go to five, and then it seemed there was a lot of different uh, things they did um, to get pressure. Uh, what did you guys kind of see from that and what they were showing you? They were running an odd stack and then occasionally an Oki mug. And in the Oki mug, they dropped the backers so that they had um, the middle taken away. And then they had six in the secondary and only three rushing, which is why you didn't see a lot of passing touchdowns today or a lot of pass game, period. Um, we expected that. We knew that they were going to do that. Um, it was kind of, I mean, it's nice to only have three rush. It's not, you know, it's not terribly hard because um, you get a little bit of help from the guards at, at, uh, as a tackle on the other center. And then the last thing. For me, uh, three holding calls on you guys today. Um, is that what do you guys kind of have to do to clean that up a little bit? You said three. Yeah, uh, was it three? I think it was so three, wasn't it? It was a lot more than three. Oh, anyways, um, what do you guys kind of have to do to clean that up? Um, well, I mean, in my O line opinion, none of those were actual holds. I don't. I just think the wrong calls were made. Um, and I don't know the process of training whoever makes those calls, but I would advise them to take a look in their manual and maybe change some stuff up because I didn't really see anything wrong. I mean, if a guy has his arm locked out on you, a D lineman, and you hit his arm with the elbow, it's going to bend and he's going to fall on his face. That's not a holding, and that's all they called today. And there was a couple instances where they told us, if you lay on him on the ground, you'll get a flag every time, which doesn't make any sense. Thanks, Ed. Yep. Ed. Next question is going to be Colton Clark, spokesman review. Go ahead, Colton. Hey, Abe, uh, just to kind of going off Jamie's question, uh, you know, personally, how the week has been, I didn't really hear if you would address that. I, I suppose my question is just, you know, how are you doing personally after all this? I'm dealing with it in my own way. Um, and then just this game, I know a loss is a loss, and it's, you know, I don't know, right now, probably not looking at it optimistically, but just knowing that you guys were coming off all, you know, what was happening, coaching turnover and whatnot, and just, you know, coming out not slow like might have been expected and then being able to finish and, and kind of be right there with it. Uh, do, you, do you take that forward optimistically? I mean, I do. I, I mean, we lost to a good team, but we didn't roll over either, you know. I mean, I think a lot of people nationwide and even in this community probably expected us to just roll over and die. Um, but I mean, that's the great thing about a team is that nobody else matters outside the first floor and the coaches. I mean, everything, everything else is bollocks. So, um, it's the team outside opinions are exactly that their opinions, they don't matter. Um, and they're not really credible. What is credible is us. And that's the only thing that will ever be credible in any team across America.